Welcome to this video today, uh, which is all about a classic trading book. The book we're going to be looking at today is called Trading for a Living, written by Dr. Alexander Elder. It came out in 1993, instantly became a bestseller. Uh, it's still widely read today, seen as an investment classic. It was recently updated, actually, for the new millennium. And while it was updated, the actual core teachings of the book were not they're as uh, relevant today as they were when the book was first written. He just basically tidied up some of the areas that he felt he hadn't covered in enough detail in the original book. Now, mostly in terms of money management, it's also added an additional study book as well, so you can construct a trading plan and rules to keep you focused. Now, in terms of the book, it makes a key point, it's one that I've made in numerous videos, most traders coming in the markets focus solely on analysis. They think that yeah, if they've got the best analysis, they're going to win at trading. Now, in terms of when I look around online, I see yeah, there's a massive focus on analysis just by the views you see on strategy videos. And the strategies are all either overcomplicated, they claim to have found some secret of trading success, or they claim a high probability of winning trades. Now, that is what Elder says that traders look for, and they do. They're looking for certainty, okay? They're looking for the method to lead them to success. Elder argues, and it's totally correct, that you know analysis is only one yeah, part of becoming a successful trader. Sure, you've got to have a strategy um, that can give you an edge. Makes the point it can be very, very simple. It should not be predictive at all. But he also says you've got to keep in mind the three M's. Yeah, your method, but also your mindset. You've got to have the correct psychology to execute your trading system and control your emotions. And he also makes the point that any strategy needs to have sound money management. And he said the three together, you've got to get them all right, and you do. A lot of traders think that they're going to be disciplined traders um, just easily. Yeah, trading discipline doesn't come easily. Money management, a lot of traders treat that as an afterthought. Um, it's the very foundation of trading success. So in the book, you get a lot of info on all those three key areas. You also get a lot of info on how the markets really move, and you get a lot of info on how to build a trading plan, trading rules to keep you on track for trading success. Now, in terms of the title, Trading for a Living, it, it, it's got that sort of title that many traders might think, well, it's a get-rich-quick book. It's anything but the sort. Um, Elder is making the point that anyone can actually become a successful trader, and anyone has the potential to trade for a living. But you have to go through a, a long learning curve, um, it, and you do. You have to get experience of trading in the markets, even after you learn the basics of success. Um, he makes a key point, in my view, that trading industry is basically designed to help traders lose money. And when he first wrote this in 1993, it was true. It's even truer today. So why is the trading industry designed to help you lose money? Well, first of all, you get way too much leverage, 200 to 1, 500 to 1. You use leverage of that size, you are bound to lose. Now, while PIP spreads, appear very competitive, once you gear up or leverage up too far, you really do have a commission or spread impact on your account, which is going to kill you longer term in the markets. Most traders who come to markets there way too much leverage. They don't see the impact of costs on their trading they lose money. Uh, Elder also makes a key point that yeah, good traders focus on doing good trades, not making money. Now, what does he mean by that? Well, he means 
they are totally confident in their trading plan. They will execute their trading signals with discipline. They'll take their losses quickly. They know that if they keep doing good trading or good trading signals, they're going to win longer term. Yeah, the novice trader, the beginner, what they'll do is they'll be just totally focused on making money with their trading signal, which means they'll be reluctant to take a loss and they'll end up losing. Yeah, most traders you know, just want to win above all else. That's why they go for high probability trading strategies over the high number of winners. That isn't going to make you money longer term. Yeah, you basically you don't need to win many trades to make a lot of money over time. And I think now, in terms of the book itself, it really is an excellent you know, grounding in terms of what it really takes to achieve trading success. And you know, if you study it, learn the lessons in it, and then practice them in the markets, it will take a little bit of time. You know, you've got to have that experience of trading under pressure. But it will give you a basic framework which can help you become a successful trader from home. And I'd strongly advise you to go and check out that book. What I want to do now is just finish up with some of my favourite quotes from Alexander Elder and some of the key points he makes in terms of achieving trading success. I'm just going to play you those on the way out. I strongly recommend you check out the book. Here are the quotes. Thank you for watching me. Hope you enjoy them. Take care. Have a good day. Thank you.